Hello and welcome back to Contail Wildcraft. I have come across some inconsistent information on what a rapid diet should look like. According to the information from veterinarians and breeders, the following is a proper diet for a rabbit. Feeding your rabbit the correct diet is vital to your rabbit's health and well-being. Perhaps the most important items in a rabbit's diet that ensures good intestinal health are adequate oral hydration and crude long fiber, which helps push hair and food through the intestines and keeps the intestinal muscles well-toned and moving quickly. This is essential to the rabbit's maintenance of a well-balanced flora. Improper diet can quickly lead to intestinal problems. Hey. Alfalfa or clover haze, although tasty for the rabbits, are too rich in protein and calcium to be fed freely. Instead, offer fresh grass haze, such as timothy, oat, coastal, brome, or wheat. The coarser, first-cut timothy hay is higher in fiber. The softer, more fragrant, second-cut hay is lower in fiber, but rabbits who refuse to eat the higher fiber first cuts will often accept the second-cut hay. Less fiber is better than none at all. Pellets. A high quality commercial rabbit food pellet provides trace nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that a rabbit might not get if fed only hay and fresh foods. However, very little pelleted food is required for good health. Many experienced rabbit vets are now recommending no more than eighth of a cup quality pellets per five pounds of a rabbit per day. A rabbit fed too many pellets will sometimes ignore hay to the damage of the intestinal system. A good quality rabbit pellet does not contain dried fruits, seeds, nuts, colored crunchy things, or other things that are attractive to our human eyes, but very unhealthy to a rabbit. A good quality rabbit pellet should have at least 22% crude fiber, no more than 14% protein, about 1% fat, and about 1% calcium. Vegetables. You may have heard it from a breeder, pet store owner, or even a veterinarian who's not as familiar with the recent rabbit health information as one might hope. Fresh vegetables will give your rabbit diarrhea. Nothing could be further from the truth than this old myth. In fact, fresh greens keep the intestinal contents hydrated, which makes them easier for the bunny to pass. Trace nutrients, fiber, and just plain old tastiness are other benefits of fresh greens. After all, what do you suppose wild rabbits eat? Try broccoli, dark leaf lettuces, kale, parsley, carrot tops, dill, basil, mint, cilantro, spinach, tomato, and celery. Cut them into one-inch pieces to avoid problems with the tough strings getting stuck on their molars. Fruit. These are considered treats and should be fed in very limited quantities. No more than two tablespoons a day for a five-pound rabbit, if at all. Safe choices are apple, apricot, banana, cherries, mango, peach, plum, papaya, pineapple, apricot, berries, just about any fruit you would like is okay for your bunny. Water. The importance of adequate water intake cannot be overstated. A rabbit will usually drink more water from a clean, heavy crock than from a sipper bottle. The rabbit caregiver may wish to provide both. But it is important to be sure that the crock is porcelain, is wet free, and that the water is changed daily, and that the crock is washed with hot water and detergent to prevent bacteria growth in the water source. Don't feed your rabbit harmful treats. Never feed your rabbit tree mixes filled with dried fruits, nuts, and seeds. Don't feed your rabbit cookies, crackers, nuts, seeds, breakfast cereals, including oatmeal, or high-fiber cereals. Remember, a rabbit is a legomorph, not a rodent or a primate. The rabbit's digestive tract is more similar to that of a horse than to that of a rodent or a primate. And the intestine and related organs can suffer from too much starchy and fatty foods. 
some types of seeds, especially things like Canadian peas and corn kernels, have holes that are not digestible to a rabbit and can cause life-threatening intestinal impactions or blockages. Any changes to a rabbit's diet should be undertaken gradually to allow the rabbit's stomach time to adjust and is a good idea to consult your vet beforehand. Always ensure that hay and fresh water are freely available at all times. Taking good care of your rabbit is key. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay healthy, everyone.